In this video lecture, I will solve an example on capacitors and inductors. But in this problem, rather than uh, emphasizing the capacitor inductors' dynamic behavior, we will uh, technically concentrate it on their uh, steady state behavior under uh, DC conditions. Okay, so uh, we have a circuit, as you can see, with a capacitor and inductor. And the question is find the energy stored in the capacitor and inductor under steady state conditions. So technically, we, uh, or somebody, built a circuit at some point in time, and we waited enough such that everything is set up. There's no significant change uh, in the circuit. Now we can analyze the uh, circuit and try to find the uh, capacitor and inductors stored energy in the system. Okay, so in order to do that, you need to first uh, remember that what happens to capacitor and inductor under steady state DC conditions. If you wait enough, what happens? If you remember, capacitor becomes like an open circuit such that we kind of ignore the capacitor, okay? So, and we technically make this an open circuit, okay? Because capacitor acts like an open circuit under steady state conditions, okay? So, it still stores an energy inside, but a technically there's no current flow in this direction, so it's an open circuit, okay? So, let's clean that. And a converse inductor, acts like a short circuit. So what we do is we kind of ignore it by making a closed wire. Okay, so it's simply a closed wire. So voltage drop or voltage change across the inductor's terminal is equal to zero. Okay, so we know that there is an inductor here. Okay, it stores an energy, but it acts like a technically short circuit wire. Okay, so technically it is like this. I generally like redrawing the circuit such that I can see that there is a the capacitor here and inductor here, but this is an open circuit for analysis purposes, and this is a short circuit for analysis purposes. Okay, so what we should do is we should analyze the circuit, find the voltage change across these two terminals of the capacitor, and the current that flows through the inductor to find uh, the energy stored in that element. Okay, good. So what we can do is we can uh, analyze the circuit, for example, using node voltage analysis. Okay. So we have a two uh, voltage sources, as you can see. We have a ground, it's already labeled. Uh, technically, we have only a single node in the system that we not know, this is VA, because we know that this is equal to zero volts. Here, this is equal to minus one volt, okay? And this is equal to eight volts. If we can compute VA, we can, I think, easily compute both the capacitor voltage and inductor current. Okay, so let's apply a node voltage analysis. Okay, let's start from here. Okay, so the current in this direction, current in this direction, current in this direction, they're both leaving the node. So VA minus H divided by four plus VA divided by one plus VA divided by one, one it should be equal to zero. Okay, so VA, 1 over 4 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to what? This is 2 minus 1, so it is equal to 1. So VA is equal to 1 over 2.25 volts, or it's equal to 0 0.444 volts. Okay, so we already computed the uh, node voltage, which is VA. Now the next step is computing the capacitor voltage inductor current, and then you can easily compute the uh, energy store. Okay, so this is zero volt, as you can see. This is VA. So VC is technically equal to VA, and it is equal to 0 0.444 volts, which is easy, as you can see. Okay, so what is IL? Okay, let's compute IL. IL is the current in this direction. Okay, so since there is no current through the uh, passing through the capacitor, it's equal to the current passing through the 4 ohm resistor, which is equal to 8 volts minus VA, which is equal to 0 0.444 volts divided by 4 ohm, which is equal to, if you compute, 1.89 amps. So I computed the current, I computed the voltage. Now it's super easy to compute the NR stored at the capacitor. And the inductor. Okay, let's go to a clean page. Okay, what is EC, the capacitor energy, which is very easy. It's equal to 1 over 2 C. It's 1 farad, as you can see. VC squared, it is equal to 1 over 2 times 1 farad. What is VC? It is equal to 1 over 4 
volt square. If I compute it, we can see that it is equal to 0 0.06 joules. Okay, that's good. I will have computed that. Now let's compute the uh, energy stored in the inductor. El is equal to 1 over 2 L. Il square. This is equal to 1 over 2. 1 Henry times what's Il? 1.89. M square, if I compute it, it's equal to 1.786 joules. Okay, so I compute it very easily. Okay, so as you can see, it's fairly easy to analyze a dynamic circuit, which includes resistance, capacitors, and inductors, if we only concentrate on steady state conditions. Okay, so technically, what you should remember is what happens to the capacitor and inductor at steady state conditions, then uh, modify your circuit based on that because capacitor, as you can see, is an open circuit, inductor is a short circuit, uh, compute the voltage across the capacitor terminals, uh, current passing through the uh, inductor, and uh, basically use the formulas to compute the energy stored in the elements. Okay, so I also uh, like solved the problem in a clean framework. As you can see, I will post the solutions uh, to math class such that you can also see and uh, do it by yourself.